The Board of Regents, which is really the Board of Regents for the entire state, has one employee, and the employee is the Commissioner of Higher Education, and, and I serve in that capacity as a liaison between the systems and the Board. At the same time, we have specific responsibility in certain areas, so it's a rather interesting job from my perspective, and it's uh, sort of like a jigsaw puzzle, because there's a lot of uh, pieces that all have to work together. You uh, announced uh, today a, a statewide tour. Tell us about that. Right. I believe that, uh, first off, I need to learn, but at the same time, I think that I need to listen to what uh, the different parts of the state uh, have. I think are important. I mean, the north is obviously different than the Baton Rouge area in the south, and so I'll be starting up in Shreveport and Monroe, and then in the coming weeks making a tour around the state, meeting with constituents, st uh, stakeholders, business leaders, community leaders, obviously the universities, just to listen, learn, and, and have them have a chance to see what I do. And the constitutional laws of the United States. And the constitutional laws of this state. And that I will. And that I will. Faithfully and impartially. Faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me as. All the duties incumbent upon me as. A member of the executive committee. A member of the executive committee. According to the best of my abilities and understanding. According to the best of my abilities and understanding. It's going to be a challenging year, but just think about this. Back in 2008, if you'd have said with a changing of the way higher education has been funded over the past six years or so, that we would have more incoming students, better incoming students, more graduates, more graduates in STEM curriculum than we had before. No one would have thought that possible. But it's because of the great leaders that we have, the four system presidents are, are working together uh, very, very well, maybe like no other time before, as evidenced with a WISE program. I think that even though we have some challenges coming up, the price of oil has dropped by 50%. That will have a negative impact on our state budget. But with, a, with the billions and billions of dollars in the state budget, it will require, require some very foresightful uh, prioritization of those funds. And so I look forward with this Board of Regents to working with those four systems heads and chancellors and with the legislature and the executive office to help us get through this. Remember, it's not leaders aren't defined in good times, right? Leaders are only defined when there are challenges in front of them, when they're, it's, it's how you brought the ship into, into the port after the storm. And I think that we're equipped to meet that leadership challenge. And so I want to thank, thank you and thank you for your attention and, um, and uh, commitment like I have uh, to, to looking forward to making a great year for the Board of Regents like we had last year. As a new commissioner of higher education, uh, give us uh, your priorities for higher education in the state. Surely. Well, I think the first one is, and I think it's already come to pass, is that uh, we want to make sure that the four system presidents and the commissioner myself speak with one voice in terms of higher education. We don't want to be seen as sort of going off in our own different ways, and I think that that's vitally important. The second thing is we need to be looking at um, a duplication of issues. We want to make sure that we're meeting the needs of that uh, student, but at the same time we want to make sure that we're not doing it in a way that's both inefficient and duplicative. And finally, partnerships. Uh, we need to be working on partnerships, particularly in an area where there are budget issues and uh, uh, we've had great partnerships with business in the past, and we need to enhance those in some other areas. So those are my top three priorities. And the role of higher education in uh, economic development and workforce development. Well, it's vital. I mean, we are, as I always say, we are the fabric, we are the focus, and we are the future of this state. I mean, we graduate the young men and young women, or perhaps not that young, who go out, you know, get jobs, pay taxes, and create new jobs. I mean, that's really what the future of this state is all about. And higher education, whether it's workforce development or basically creation of new opportunities, right at the center. Will the public get an opportunity to participate in your statewide tour? Oh, absolutely. There are many, many, many open uh, forums and open venues, and they uh, will be publicized, and there will be a, a, a schedule out there, and I'd look forward to meeting people. If people have questions like more information, what should they do? Well, they'll be my web page and my website and my personal email, so they can go to that and I'll make the best effort possible to respond.